C, the center of your data. Terms such as the mean and median represent different ways of looking at the center. It is very important to understand that the mean and median will not always give you the same center. If your data is highly skewed to the right, the mean will be larger than the median. If the data is skewed to the left, the mean will be less than the median. This is because the median is a resistant measure of spread, meaning that it is relatively unaffected by extreme observations. However, mean is a non-resistant measure of spread, thus any skewness or outlying data points will affect the placement of the mean. So make sure to choose your measure center wisely when analyzing data and explain why you chose one or the other. So let's get started with a deeper understanding of each key factor. The first S of our four-part acronym stands for shape. We're all familiar with shape, but when comparing and describing distributions, we concentrate on the main features. For example, try identifying major peaks, clusters of values, and obvious gaps. The AP test will test you on key vocabulary, so keep these following words in mind. Symmetry, modality, and skewness. Modality refers to the distribution's peaks. The distribution is unimodal if it is single-peaked and bimodal if it's two-peaked. There's also such a thing as multi-peaked, which is more than two peaks. A distribution is approximately symmetric if it is an approximate mirror image of the right and left side. A distribution is skewed to the right if the right side of the graph is lower and longer than the left side of the graph. The opposite is said for the left skewed distribution, where the left side of the graph is much longer and smaller than the right side of the graph. Also take note that the mean in the right skewed distribution is far bigger than the median. This is because the mean is a non-resistant value. In the left skewed distribution, the mean is far lesser than the median just because it's a non-resistant value. These values on each end pull the mean to either side. O is for outliers. Outliers are points that are skewed away from the typical distribution. More specifically, outliers are points that are 1.5 IQR below the first quartile or above the third quartile. Remember, that IQR represents the middle 50% of the data. IQR is found by subtracting the third quartile by the first quartile. The IQR is then found by subtracting this product from the first quartile and by adding this product to the third quartile. The IQR for this example is from zero to eight. Any number outside of this range is considered an outlier. It is preferable to have data without any outliers because approximately normally distributed data will result in more accurate data conclusions since no points are skewing the mean. So try not to use this. Lastly, we will talk about the final S, spread, or the distribution of data. Spread is measured in quite a few ways, such as range, standard deviation, and variance. Range is one of the easier things to calculate, for it is simply the largest data point subtracted by the smallest data point, or the maximum minus the minimum. Standard deviation is the typical or average distance data points are away from the mean. This value squared is the variance. A couple things to take note of are that standard deviation will never be zero, and that standard deviation is in the same units as the data set. If the standard deviation were zero, that would mean that there is no variation in the data set. Both standard deviation and variance can be found with one var stats, but the formula for the standard deviation is on the AP statistics formula sheet anyways. To find one var stats on the TI-84 graphing calculator, first press stat, then select the calc menu and select one var stats. You will be given a list of different outputs such as mean and standard deviation. Make sure to understand that both the mean and standard deviation are non-resistant measures of spread, while the median and IQR are resistant measures of spread. Take this into consideration whenever you are asked to describe or compare distributions.